Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. Crisis in APC as Governor Yahaya Bello vows not to sacrifice his ambition for Tinibu or Osibanjo. I told you guys that it is gradually becoming a do or die affair matter. Tinibu also said that he is not going to step down for anybody. Though he made his own very clear that if the declaration does not favor him, then he will leave the party. Just before we continue with the whole thing, please, if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing, please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe. Also on the notification button. In that way, anytime we upload a new video, they will notify you. And I pray that the same way you all are supporting us here in this channel, God will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in Jesus' name. Amen. This news here I read, more trouble looms in APC as Governor Yahaya Bello vows not to sacrifice his ambition for Tinibu or Osibanjo. There were speculations that the decision of Governor Yahaya Bello of Kogi State to not announce his presidential ambition until after APC National Convention was due to uncertainty in the party. And that should things fall apart, he do have to push his ambition through a different platform. Now, however, that the convention has come and gone, the Kogi State governor made his intention public. New development has nevertheless suggested that all is far from over and that the possibility of Bello quitting APC is still very much high. According to a report published by Nigeria Tribune, Governor Yahya Bello is all out for the presidency and would not sacrifice his ambition for anyone else, be it Tinibu or Osibanjo. The report also claims that Bello, though aware of clamor for zoning, said zoning won't stand on his way. He urged that the emphasis should rather be on competence, adding that Power rotation has never been a blessing to the country. Okay, so if we are talking about competence, Yaya Bello should be the competent one. Someone that cannot even pay salary in his own state. <clears throat> okay, it continued by saying, until we challenge the status quo, that idiosyncratic page must be broken before you can be talking of progressing as a nation and as a people. So it is no more about rotation, Bello said in a statement through his information commissioner, Kingsley Fanwo, on Tuesday. I was born in the North Central. I was born an Ibarra man. I did not choose to be an Ibarra. I did not choose to be a Northerner. That should not determine criteria for hiring leaders, Fanwo said as he quoted his principal. We always bring this to politics. We don't use it in other places. When you are sick and we are taking you to hospital and they say you need an operation, you will not ask the administrative secretary if the person who is going to treat me is an Hausa man. You will want a competent medical doctor to attend to you. Whether he is an Ibarra, whether he is Hausa, it doesn't matter. What matters is he is competent to attend to you. Now, the driver that will take you from here to Onicha, what you are interested in is, is he a good driver? But in politics, we use that sentiment. Where is he or she coming from? In 2023, it is going to change. The zoning must be competence, capacity, patriotism, and a unifier. A unifier bridge builder. That is where we are zoning it to. Whether the person is a northerner, southerner, Igbo, or Hausa, it does not matter anymore we have been having rotation since 1960 we are better off so that is where we are going and that is what we have come out to challenge because it will take a courageous man like yaya bello <laughs> it will take a courageous man like yaya bello to challenge and defeat that monster before we can be talking about development. So on rotation, we are ready for the battle ahead. It is going to be about capacity and competence. 
The Kogi state governor, who said he was determined to win the APC ticket, said he was confident that he will beat other aspirants in the race. I think they are the ones that should be intimidated right now because it is not about what you have achieved in the past. It is going to be what you are doing now and what you can do for this nation from 2023. So, the governor, too, has garnered some experience. He has been a chief executive of his state for the past six, seven years. And also, he has been able to see governance at that very close range. So, we are very confident that he is going to do a great job for Nigeria. All right. On the issue of consensus, our party is a party of rules. I am very happy you are covering the party, and I am very sure you will avail yourself of the construction of the party, especially as it affects the mode of selecting candidates for the elections. You have all you have all the options, consensus, direct and indirect primaries. What consensus means is that if I am contesting we all have to sign a document announcing our withdrawal from that contest. That is what our constitution says. I will follow the constitution. We cannot make rules and break them. So what I will say is this. If it is going to be a contest where people will seek votes, Yaya Bello will be there. If it is going to be on consensus, he is basically the youngest and a serving governor who is performing wonders <laughs> in unifying, securing, and progressing and progressing his people. Definitely the consensus will be Yaya Bello. So let's wait and watch if it is going to be a contest where we are going to look for vote. We will be there. If it is going to be consensus, it is still going to be governor Yahaya Bello. All right, my people. <laughs> it has been a long reading, though. I just wanted to like get every bit of it so that you guys will understand. But for me, it is the audacity for me, Walai. <laughs> it is the boldness. Yahaya Bello speaking as if the country or that seat belongs to his father or it is heritage that he, he can hear it from. So with every indication, you can see that these people, they don't want to give the Southeasterners chance to rule. They've been doing this rotation, according to him, since 1960. It is now that they are supposed to hand over to the Southeasterners that they know that they suddenly realize that the rotation is not working. Now, nobody is saying that Yaya Bello should sacrifice his ambition for anybody. But they are very much aware that not only northerners are in this country. There are also other regions that are in this country that should be given the opportunity to rule the nation. Northerners have ruled, not just ruling, they've done a lot of damages in this country. Let us give it to the ones they have not ruled this country. At least let's try and check and balance it. It is a public knowledge that Northerners being at the top in this country has done more harm than good. The Northerners, truly the, these people, most of them, they don't have no conscience, especially the so-called leaders inside. These people, they don't get conscience. So they don't need to continue. These people, their leadership style, according to Femi Adeshina, only favors their own people, even though they preach to you every single day that you are one, one Nigeria. But there's nothing to show forth for it. Northerners being in Asorok actually have nothing to write home about. So let us try all that region, especially now that the people are clamoring for it. It is true that democracy is not supposed to be by rotation. Democracy is of the people, by the people, and for the people. But in Nigeria, there is nothing like democracy. So let us stop deceiving ourselves. This is how the system has been from the one. So not now that they are saying, oh yeah, give to the South Easterner that you know that you can no longer do it like that. Yeah, yeah, Bello saying it is not his fault to come from the North. It is nobody's uh, business, quite all right. But what we know is that Northerners, they've ruled us and there's nothing to write to them about their leadership style. Come to think of it, how many times this same Yaya Bello 
How many times has this voiced out against the killings, against the evil that is going on in this country? Because he said that it is not about uh, what you have achieved, but it is about what you are doing now and what you will do from 2023. So what is he doing now? You that cannot pay salary in a very small state that you are ruling, is it when you not take over? And they say charity begins at home. They gave you a chance to practice what you know in your own state. You couldn't. So you want them to entrust you with the lives of over 200 million people. Eh, hey, there is God, though, my people. I'm going to leave you all to share your, uh, uh, your opinion with me on the comment section. This video is not getting longer than necessary. So please don't forget to share your opinion with me on the comment section. Like and subscribe, and uh, I will definitely see you all in my next video. Remain blessed until I come your way next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.